Brexit Baroness Michelle Moan is facing calls to resign from the House of Lords this morning after admitting she lied about her links to a firm that benefited from government PPE contracts. That was MedPro. It was awarded government contracts worth more than £200 million to supply PPE to the NHS after she recommended it to ministers. Now, she publicly denied that she was involved with the firm and then she told yesterday the BBC that that wasn't quite right. But her defence was that it wasn't a crime to twist the truth to protect her family. Well, joining us now to discuss this is Talk TV's chief political commentator, Peter Cardwell. You, you've seen it, Peter. It, it was a stunning admission in many ways. What's behind this? Why, why were the couple there having consistently denied this? The story clearly has changed. It's on the front pages this morning. What do you know? They denied it for three years, and they didn't just deny it, David. They threatened journalists and said that journalists who reported it would be subject to legal action. So this is very, very serious. What happened was that there were a lot of VIPs who were told, if there is any link that you have to a firm that can get this PPE made quickly and efficiently, let's just abandon the procurement process, the usual process for getting these things and for government contracts, and what happened was that a uh, Michelle Moon's husband's firm was given a huge contract, 200, more than 200 million pounds, mm -hmm. more than 60 million pounds of profit. There were consistent denials that they were linked to that. There were consistent denials that they made any profit from them. That was not true. And then yesterday, this extraordinary interview off the back of a documentary that the company itself had paid for to be made a YouTube documentary. We had Michelle Moon and her husband uh, saying that, yes, they lied, but it wasn't a crime. It's a fascinating uh, it's a fascinating interview. The documentary being made itself is fascinating as well. Let's just take a quick look at the clip uh, of Michelle Moon yesterday. I don't honestly see there's a case to answer. Um, I can't see what we've done wrong. Um, Doug and the consortium have simply delivered a contract, a delivery contract of goods. But after everything, you can't see what you've done wrong when you've admitted today that you lied to the press and That's by extension you lied to the public. You, Laura, saying to the press I'm not involved to protect my family, can I just make this clear? It's not a crime. I'm not involved to protect my family, it's not a crime, said mm. Michelle Moon. That's fair enough and it's not a crime, but what she and her husband did was aggressively use three legal firms to threaten various journalists with legal action if they printed what were, they were told was not true when in fact it was true that Michelle Moon and her husband did have links to these companies and made £60 million of profit. Mm -hmm. Let's unpick this a little bit. The government procurement process. Uh, we heard that they've spoken to Michael Gove. They mm -hmm. were having conversations with him. Which other ministers were involved in this kind of whole, what appeared to be a very chaotic time? It was. Where yeah. the government say, right, who's got contacts who, where? Mm. How can we get this stuff as quickly as possible? Where is the attention now focused on the ministers who are involved at the same time? Well, it's interesting, Oliver Dowden, who's the Deputy Prime Minister, was at the Cabinet Office, a sort of central bit of government that was dealing with this at the time. Michael Gove was the person who Michelle Moon lifted the phone to and said, look, I'm a well-known bra manufacturer. I have lots of links to people who manufacture expertise clothes, in manufacturing. expertise in manufacturing. I can help you out with this. And certainly the spotlight has gone to Mr Gove. He hasn't said anything on this so far. But what Oliver Dowden, his ministerial colleague, has said is that, look, there is an ongoing investigation into this. There is legal action around this as well. But what was clearly the case and what Michelle Moon has consistently said is that her advisers, various people in government all said, this was fine. We're waiting to hear from Michael Gove. We, we will certainly, uh, I'm sure, uh, the pressure will be put on him. But at the same time, in terms of Michelle Moon, the spotlight will still be on her for some time to come.